Good evening, everyone. Phil here, and welcome to the Daily Wrap for what was Saturday, the 20th of April, 2024. Um, a fun day, a good variety day of streaming. Not Once again, exa not exactly what I was expecting to do today, uh, but still quite a fun day and a hot day. Today, we had over like 70 degree weather Fahrenheit here in Washington, like 75 degrees at one point with the sun in the afternoon. So thankfully, I wore my very aerated, air wicking shirt on stream. That basically made me feel cool all day. I'm very glad that I have this one. Um, but outside of that, no technical issues, which is really weird. And here's why I say that. If you watched my podcast this morning, you would know that yesterday I had a ton of technical issues. Like I had my mic going out, my monitors turning off, my frame rate stuttering, and I couldn't really get to the bottom of what was causing it. Although I realized today, man, I should have tried restarting my capture device to see if maybe that was the issue because I have the ability to do that in OBS now. My old capture device that I used for the longest time, you couldn't restart it. It would actually make OBS like crash. So this one you can. So I don't know. But the good news is I'm just happy there were no technical problems today. On today's podcast, we talked about a variety of topics, uh, one of which notably was the fact that today we did not do co-op. And when I mean to say that, I mean my wife and I, who originally were going to do Beyond Two Souls co-op, it didn't happen again. And at this point, Due to the fact that this thing has now been canceled about four separate times, I'm putting it on indefinite hiatus. I'm not going to put it into the schedule unless we are 100% sure we're doing it, <clears throat> which likely means you won't get a lot of buildup for it. It'll probably be like a day or two before we do it, just announce, okay, we're doing it, and then rush in to do it because it seems like every single circumstance, everything is conspiring against us to make it that we cannot do this co-op, whether it's... um. Whether it's my wife's work schedule changing, whether it's, you know, stress and, and the things because of that work schedule changing, making us be backed up on things. And now today, you know, my wife feeling under the weather last night, she had a stomach ache and then she didn't get a lot of sleep because of it. And it was just, it, it's just one thing after another. You get to the point where you're like, we just don't want to commit to it anymore because I hate over-promising and under-delivering. And so what happened is, uh... My, my wife wants to do it. Kat had to, outright told me this morning. She's like, I still want to do it. It just really sucks that this keeps happening. So when she's ready, we'll do it. I just don't know when that's going to be. I'm going to guess May. I'm going to say, because I, I know we got some stuff coming up behind the scenes. It's going to be kind of stressful and, and make it, we're going to be busy and stuff. So let's guess May. I mean, maybe it'll be a good time because it's actually three weeks in May where there's nothing going on in the realm of new releases. But let's see what happens. So instead, today we did a fun podcast. Again, explaining that, but also... We covered various different topics and things. There was a big news story about how TikTok is, is going to be banned in the United States in nine months unless it gets sold to a new owner, which I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> kind of funny. Um, so we thought about that and many other things. Um, and then we swung into Elden Ring. And today was all about Feral Missoula, okay? <clears throat> so in Feral Missoula, I had to fight the Godskin duo. And man, it's tough. It's tough to beat these guys because... Unlike my first run where Jump R2 dominated everything in the game, in this case, um, you know, having to fight them both at once and not having an overpowered, like, weapon to body them with, but instead having to find tricky ways to cast magic and not get hit in the process uh, was really tough. I was trying the Starfall Rain. I was trying... I tried to nuke once. That didn't work. I was trying the sword. The sword wasn't working. Finally, a recommendation from someone to try the ice spell, and the ice spell did work because it was basically hitting them with one final hit of the ice spell that did like a chunk of damage, and it kicked ass. Um, took a while. It took me about half an hour, maybe 45 minutes to beat them, and then we continued on with Far Missoula, and we went all the way through, all the way down to Placidus Axe, which takes about an hour and a half, and uh, when we got to Placidus Axe, that's the optional dragon where you have to actually go back in time to fight him. Uh, he's really tough. Like, for my build, Again, unlike when I played against him my first run where I was this strong melee build, jump R2, and then use the, the freaking flame ability of the Riker uh, sword uh, to just destroy everything, uh, I have to, you know, be more strategic. I tried all different magic. Seems like Glintstone magic doesn't work on this axe at all. He pretty much just ignores it. He has such high defense. So you have to use, sadly, physical magic means either Rock Sling or the Meteor spell. Which sucks, because I've used Roxling against so many enemies in this game, but it seems like your two strategies with, with this Glintstone Magician is nuke everything with the Glintstone ability, or just keep casting Roxling over and over, and it staggers the enemy. So, I got pretty close, but man, I played him for an hour straight, 
and I got right down to the end. I even had the science down of how to dodge each of his electric abilities and counter and hit after. I was finding openings to use the meteor spell and actually get a big chunk of his health away. And then I get down to the very end. Seriously, I had a full health bar down to the very end. When you get to the end of the fight, he teleports away and the whole arena starts raining down this red lightning. So you have to start moving. And then he just appeared behind me and insta-killed me. It's like, well, that's stupid. He's supposed to appear as a trail of red smoke and swoop in, and then you dodge it. I'm used to that. I couldn't see him. I'm spinning in place. He's not there. He's not there. He's not there. He's not there. And then I'm just dead. So I played for an hour. I got this close to beating him. Looks like we will definitely beat him within, you know, a hopefully short amount of time next time that we play. But definitely, uh, the one thing I've learned, which I figured it would be true... The magic build is great, except for a few exceptions. Placidus Axe is one of them, being so resistant to magic. The fight is significantly harder with this build than my first build. My first build, pretty much, you know, I only fought him a few times and I beat him. Um, but the magic build, this Glintstone magic, has pretty much dominated a lot of the game. We, you know, I mean, take a look at what happened with Moog, right? I was like, oh my god, I couldn't believe the difference. So, much like, and th again, this is the beauty of FromSoft games. You can replay them multiple times with a different build, and you can get a completely different experience. Like, this game feels like a different game playing it with Magic than it did when I was doing Melee. It just feels like I'm not even playing the same game. And that's great. That's why I like FromSoft games, and that's why I don't like Sekiro. The Sekiro, you don't get that feeling. You play it once, you've seen everything, and I think that was a huge misstep for FromSoft. I'm glad that Elden Ring went back to their old formula of, you know, playing it so many times in so many different ways and having a different experience. So. Anyway, good stream today. Sweating it out. It was very hot in here. And then the late stream tonight, because we didn't do co-op, it was an impromptu stream of the Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection. It still does not work. It's pretty sad because now it's been a well over a month since this thing came out. And they very, by rights, they should have fixed this by now. Um, it's obvious the game devs don't care. If they did, they would have fixed this by now. The hit detection is so bad. Seriously. It's like the guy's right in front of you. You're just filling him with bullets or or shooting a missile directly. It's like nothing works. It's like, it, it's funny. I played the first hour I played Battlefront 2. Out of that hour, probably like half an hour was decently fun. And I was having a good time hanging out and talking with everyone in chat. Then people were like, we ever tried Battlefront 1? I was like, all right, let's go back to it. You know, I originally played Battlefront 1 on launch day. Uh, and I never went back to it since. We went back to it. We played two big maps. One was the first map where we, originally I had played, I was sniping, and I got a bunch of sniper kills, and the second map was Endor. So I sniped for the first half, then I switched to rockets, and I started shooting the walkers. It was fun. That was fun. The only down, downfall of that is the matches are very long. So then for the last, like, you know, half hour, 20 minutes, I switched back to Battlefront 2. I couldn't hit anything. Nothing registered. And I said, I just don't care. I've had enough. And I quit out, and I was like, enough of this game. You know, it's just... Uh, that's the kind of game, every once in a while, if we just need something to kill time and do a dumb variety stream where we know it's just, it's silly and it's not meant to be serious because it doesn't work, we'll play Battlefront. But that's about it. We're not going to be going back to regularly play that game. It just doesn't work right, okay? So thanks, because uh, here's the truth. Attendance was decent, and I actually had more support on the late stream than I did on Elden Ring today. Figured that out, but I did. It was a good night. I was like, all right, excellent. I'm you know appreciative about that. I want to say thanks to everyone who was around today and hung out and supported. Now, tomorrow, Sunday, the 21st, is React Day, meaning all day long you're going to see React-style content. We're going to start with a podcast here on DSP Gaming, obviously recapping a little bit of how today went. If there's any game news or anything to talk about, we'll talk about those topics. And then uh, we will swing over to the DSP React channel for my weekly clip show, DSP versus the Internet. In fact, as soon as I finish recording this and uploading, I'm going to make that playlist and get that ready for tomorrow. Um, a quick reminder, if you've never checked it out, it's a show where the channel members on the React channel nominate clips and we watch uh, a ton that are guaranteed to be watched by the highest level of supporters called Ultra Members. And then the other lower tier of members called the Submissions Members get to put all of their uh, video submissions into a playlist that's randomized. So some weeks we see more, some weeks we see less, but overall, uh, we get a good variety every week. I really like doing the show. I hope you'll swing by and check it out tomorrow on DSP Reacts. That's youtube.com forward slash at DSP Reacts. Starts around 12.45 p.m. Pacific time. The late stream tomorrow night, more retro react of The Walking Dead Season 1. First two sessions of it went pretty good, and, and we had a good time. Uh, this time around, we're going to be finishing Episode 2. So that's probably going to be about, like, I would guess probably about a half an hour, 40 minutes. And then we're going to jump into Episode 3. So should be good. 
Hope you'll join me for that, 6.45 p.m. Pacific time on the DSP Throwback channel. That's YouTube.com forward slash at DSP Throwback. Me watching my old style playthroughs from way back in the day and commenting on them, okay? Gameplay will return to DSP Gaming on Monday. We'll have more Helldivers 2 on the first stream and Street Fighter 6 Zangief returning. And this time, I'm going to basically play some, some casual play and try to level him up a bit, learn some tech, and I want to get him back into ranked because I want to get him to master level, much like I did with my other characters. I want to get Zangief to master... Man, it's going to be hard. It's going to be a hard climb because he's one of the hardest characters to play with, and he's definitely bottom tier in this game. But I'm going to do my best. We'll see. Okay? All right, guys. Thank you so very much. A great streaming night. I hope you all had fun with me today, and you enjoyed the videos on demand, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.